Hi everyone, today I wanna to share a resource with you called Evan Moore's Smart Start Beginning Coding. Now this series is for ages pre-K through grade one. They sent me the kindergarten level to do with my child and it was a hit and I wanted to share it with you today. So we're gonna do a quick flip through and I'm gonna share with you some of the features. So the thing I like about this book is it does come with stories and then activities to go with it. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we start off with the different lessons in coding. Now, when we think about coding, we think about critical thinking skills, how to use algorithms, decomposition, sequencing, patterns, debugging, and loops. So these are the main concepts that they're teaching. And then there's some really fun reviews and hands-on activities that actually teach your children to do this without a screen, which I think is really cool. But before we get into the activities, there is a letter to the student, some talk uh, quick tips about beginning coding concepts and how we use those. And then there's some also information for parents about how to use this book. Okay, it goes right in to having each lesson with the color coded. So each of the, the concepts is color coded. So all the algorithm stuff is this pretty orange color. So in the beginning of the book under the in the front cover, there is a QR code that you can scan and it will read this to your child, which is really amazing. I offered to read it to my my own child and and the choice was made that they wanted to hear the on the app read it so that was really fun and so then there's some simple pictures that this one is talking about you know that things need to go in a certain order and this actually led to some really great questions with my child about why we do things in a certain order so we talked about why we brush our teeth you know at certain times of the day and why we um, get our clothes out the day before things like that so it really did solidify that it is important to do some things in an order. And we talked about how some things, it doesn't matter what order you go into. So this just really tied into the concept of algorithms. So they continue to tie this to um, cooking and then they introduce how this connects with a computer. So we go through and more putting things in order and understanding that there are there's a reason to that order. Now there is a cut and paste, but just the right amount for this age. So they had to cut out the arrows and help Tabitha get to the kitchen. And so that's really fun. Um, again, tying into more of the cooking theme with this particular unit. Then as we go in, they're continuing to get them to understand the directions and that there are certain things. Again, another cut and paste activity right here. And then we go to decomposition. Now I'm not gonna go through every single unit. I'm gonna do a quick flip through, but I just wanna show you there's a story for the units and then it actually does go through and connect this to things that kids understand washing the dog maybe a project that they might be working on like building the dog house and they have really clever ways for tying this to um, computer science which i thought was really clever and then at the end there's also some ideas of things that you can continue to talk to your child about to take the concept even further again the cutting and pasting was just the right amount so was the the written component it was not too overwhelming which happens sometimes with this age but this was just the right amount um, these things were things that my kids really could relate to. Um, this was hilarious. We thought it was really funny because um, we've all done silly things like this. They wrapped the box but forgot to put the present inside. And so then we have to problem solve. And we talk about, again, sequencing, which is another concept. Sorry, I skipped a page there. So as we go through, again, more cutting and pasting and just solidifying that there is an order to get from point A to point B. We really like that. Then we get into patterns, which again is one of my, my um, a very popular topic at our house. Um, and so we go through the patterns, but then connect that to computers as well. So I liked how these patterns were a little bit more advanced. They weren't just counting patterns. We had to really pay attention to what the pattern was, not just write numbers or letters in a certain order. We were counting by tens here and we started in the middle of the alphabet. So again, just reinforcing some higher order thinking skills and a little bit of handwriting practice as well. Okay, then we go into debugging. And this, again, was just lighthearted. We all make mistakes. And so it's like when something happens that, you know, there's a mistake or we, the result isn't what we want, how do we go back and think about how to fix it? What have we learned? What can we try again? So we talked about also how we have, you know, glitches, our apps crash, and we just had a really good conversation about what we do 
whenever we have a bug or some sort of other problem with our technology. Again, just the right amount of, col of coloring, uh, I'm sorry, cutting. There wasn't a lot of coloring, which is a good thing because my child is not a fan of coloring at this stage, but that's okay. This one, for some reason, was my uh, child's favorite activity because apparently it's really funny to put things upside down. And so we had a lot of, of um, talks about how to debug it before we did it correctly. But that was part of the fun. This actually leads to another hands-on activity they have at the back. It was about um, loops, about repeating things. And so they actually have an exercise, uh, little cards. And I'll show you those in just a minute. But it ties into this lesson. Looks like we skipped that page. We'll have to go back and do that. Um, this was really fun, though. We got up out of our chair and we did some movements, and um, it was really fun to then do a loop with these different activities. And so then you go to the end, and there's a review, just different activities, putting together everything that you've learned, and then they get into the projects. Now, this is an example of one of the projects they did. This is a pizza recipe, and they had these all the different steps here. You need to cut them out, and it says step one, step two, step three. Step four, step five, step six, step six. Ah, easy for me to say, step six. Um, and so that was really fun. But then we got into some others. So there was a school uniform pattern. Now, since we homeschool, we don't do a school uniform. So um, we just made up our own outfit. And this was the outfit that we created. And there's a little stand. Oh, I just dropped it. But there's a little paper stand that makes it stand up. So that was really fun. This was the exercise one. We accidentally tore this page out, so I put it back in here so you can see. But I'm going to move this book, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So there were these little cards, and we laid them out on the floor, and we made different loops of things that we needed to repeat. But there was a card that said, do this four times, and so we took turns putting different activities there. There was another one that says, let's see do it three times and then there was also a stop so we had a lot of fun got us up and moving so that was a hit and something that um, we have done again and again the other thing from smart start beginning coding was this little dog house and this was a challenge for um, my my child but it ended up working out very well because we talked about debugging we talked about doing things in a certain order so it's this cute little dog house and this little paper dog house that stands up and it can go inside um, just really cute and this has continued to stay out and we have played with it with our play clay or kinetic sand and just had a lot of fun with um, this little paper um, activity that we did. So that is what you'll find in the Smart Start Beginning Coding. There's also some stickers at the back that you can put on um, each page as you finish if your child likes stickers. There's also an answer key in the back which I really do appreciate and of course there's a really cool, oh, there's a coding handbook. Sorry, I was going to get to that in a minute, but just reminding um, your, your student of the different um, definitions of the vocabulary words that they've learned. But then there's this really cool um, award at the end. So I hope you guys check out Smart Start Beginning Coding. As I said, this is available for pre-K through grade one, but there are also several other books in the Smart Start series. There's one for read and write, sight words, math and STEM so far in the series. And so this was something that I was really pleasantly surprised that the coding activities really helped solidify our higher order thinking and our critical thinking skills and just led us in great conversations. So have you tried this book? I would love to know um, if you've tried this one. It's new, so you may not have seen it yet, but there are other great, like I said, books in the Smart Start series. So if you've tried any of them, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear back from you. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.